is where the money is at. This is where I'm telling you a bag of dollar to be made, okay? Hey tribe, welcome to HGDC, HD Designs Crochet. Today I have a vlog planned for you that has been requested numerous times. 10 ways that you can create income from your crochet or your knitwear. I'm gonna to refer to crochet, but if you prefer to knit, just put knit instead of crochet every time you hear me say it. Hey tribe, it's Editing Heather here. I actually split this video down into two. So you have five ways to make an income from crochet and five further ways to make an income from crochet. And that was just to keep the vlog to a nice round about half hour each. So part one is linked above and this is part two. Enjoy watching and I will see you at the end. Um, which takes me into number six, and that is sample making. Now you hear the term sample knitter more frequently, again, because I think knitting's just bigger, and it is what it is, but you can also do sample crochet. Now, sample knitting, sample crochet, sample making is where you are paid to make a sample for the designer, the brand, the company. For example, there are companies out there that want to use their yarn to show how um, how it knits up. So they might be an indie sock designer and they have got a new colorway and they don't quite have the time to make it for themselves and so they send out the sample, the yarn, to somebody and pay them to make the sample. And then there's also the bigger brands out there that um, say, for example, I know Sari of Sari Knits does this. She has a list of sample knitters that she uses so that she doesn't have to make every pattern herself. And this is because it is time intensive for a designer. If you've got a collection of, say, 15 patterns that are being dropped all at once, then you need to make all of those patterns. And that's... Um, it is a big it is a big investment of time and so if somebody can help you make those items then it frees you up to get on with other tasks and also so you can reach your deadlines without like with the minimal amount of stress um, and so you can just simply search in Google like sample knitters needed sample crochet is needed and then you can apply um, I have looked a few and it, it works out like you get paid per meter or per yard so like it'd be like eight eight pence per meter or something um that was a really low example but if you go and do some research and have a look you can definitely make a decent amount of money from being a sample maker so not only do you get cash money but you also get to keep the leftovers of yarn and usually you also get to pick yarn f like you might get the equivalent amount of yarn or you can pick different yarn for a project of your own as well and the only downside really is that um, it's time intensive and you don't get to keep what you make. But I mean, that could be a good thing because you might have a lot of stuff that you've made and you don't want to keep it. So sample making is another way to make cash dollar and also get perks on top of. Seven. The seventh way that you could make income from your crochet is to have ad revenue. Ad revenue means that you are making money. So for example, um, if you have a YouTube channel such as this one, every advert that is viewed, you make money off it. Now, it is cash money that you receive, but it isn't a huge, huge amount. If somebody views a advert for at least 30 seconds, then you might receive a couple of cents or a couple of pennies um, per view. If you have a channel of a million subscribers and you deliver business content, you will get a high amount because advertisers want to advertise on business websites because people are more likely to buy it as opposed to if you do maybe um, something, you know, something where people don't deem that there's a bigger market there, you might not get the higher marketing the advertising budgets on your channel so you might not get as much per view. Um, I have my AdSense set up on YouTube and I make something like $30 average, I'd say $20 average 
per month from my YouTube and it's just a nice extra to have it doesn't really like I don't count on it I don't really include it in um, like my cash flow I just leave it in a pot and when I get the money then I will just add it into whatever it is whether it be some equipment or to pay a bill or something so you can definitely make money from YouTube and obviously there's different ways to make more the more videos and content you put out the different audiences that you have um, the more the more viewers and subscribers and watch that you get the more money you make um, sometimes you would think that some of the big big channels with like a million views would get a lot of money and you can search into YouTube um, like ad revenue and one of them I have watched myself and she said she had a million views on a video so she thought yes ka-ching I'm in the money but the amount she got paid per view was so tiny that she only made like a couple of thousand which that's a lot but a million views and then she had another one that had like 20,000 views but because she got paid more meh, more per view she made like 20,000 so yeah go and have a look into that there's definitely money to be made from ad revenue you can also put ads on your um blog and you can also um be paid to do sponsorship which is kind of like an ad a brand might come to you and say if you do three reviews of this we'll send you the free products and we'll pay you x amount for example that star that did it on um you know the celebrity that did it for i can't even think what she was on Love Island that did it for, was it My Pretty Little Thing? No, Misguided. You can see how much attention I pay. Basically, she got a huge amount of money in her car and that's not an everyday sponsorship, but there are sponsorships out there that are cash money and they're worth it. So again, pros and cons. The pros are every time somebody views a video that I wanted to make anyway, I'm getting money per view. The last studio vlog that I did was actually like one of my highest earners in that I made $6.70 off that in a month. And um, whereas my blanket stack video, I think I've made like $12 in its entire life. And that's my most viewed video. So one of the cons is you can't really tell how it's gonna fall. Um, you can't really, you can influence how much money you're gonna get, but you can't guarantee how much you'll get. Not only that, Another con is that you need to hit the monetization limits or not limits, eligibility on YouTube to get paid. So I know for YouTube you need a thousand subscribers and a certain amount of watch minutes, 40,000 watch minutes per year. So you need to have people watch 40,000 worth of minutes of your channel and a thousand people subscribe to be able to get that ad revenue and to get to that point there's some channels out there that do that within like six months or even less you can buy subscribers you can pay people to watch them and all sorts of things like that or you might get a video that goes viral and you do that on your first video but odds are you're gonna have to be like the rest of us, like me, and show up and keep putting videos out there. And these videos aren't simple to make. You've got the time of recording, the time of editing, which is always more than the time of recording. You've had to plan the content that you wanted to record, and in my case, make it, and then edit it, and then put it out there. So yeah, I'm seeing a little bit of money but this has been like a year of consistent work to get to this point. So I'm owed paydays, like bare amount of paydays for past work done to get to this point. But a pro of it is I wanna be here on YouTube anyway. I didn't sign up for the money. It's definitely a perk, but I didn't sign up for that. And so the fact that I get to put out content that I love to do and then I get a bit extra support from it, great. And also if an advert comes up in this, can you watch 30 seconds? Thank you, thank you very much. Um, and then the next, the next one, number eight, is affiliate links. Again, it's kind of like ad revenue in that if you put a link and then you tell people it's an affiliate link, if they click it and they buy something either that day or within 30 days, you get a couple of pennies or cents from whatever they've purchased. 
So for example, Wool Warehouse do this. Is it Wool Warehouse? Love Crafts. Love Crafts do this and they've got an affiliate link um, program set up that I have actually signed up for, but I've not used yet. And you put a link below. So say for example, I bought this glittery yarn from Love Crafts um, and I put it below and say this is where you can get it from. You're gonna buy that anyway. So you click the link, you pay your usual price, there's no extra cost to you, but the company pay me a couple of pennies because I sent somebody, a buyer, their way. And so that's another way to get a little bit of money. Now I know quite a few people do use a lot of affiliate links for things such as Amazon and things like that. Um, I have looked into setting them up. It's something that I'm definitely under utilizing at the moment. Utilizing, under utilizing at the moment. And so I will be doing a bit more of it because even if at the end of the month I get £80 from my affiliate links and £100 from my YouTube, that's still enough there to buy quite a bit of yarn for some new projects. And that's what you want. You want different streams of income constantly coming in to fill up your pot. Okay, so number nine, we're almost there. All this amazing information I'm giving you of how to make money from your crochet. Number nine is Patreon or a monthly subscription. Now, Patreon is a platform where creators can sign up to it and they receive a monthly amount of money to um, for different perks and rewards. And it basically is a way of your community, for example, my tribe, supporting what I do or a creator does so they can carry on creating rather than trying to keep a part-time job to cover their outgoings and whatnot. And it's like a steady flow of income. Um, there's all different tiers, so you can select the minimum at like one or two dollars and different tiers with different rewards. And then everybody has their different um, disposable income per month. So somebody might say, I can definitely pledge two dollars a month. I want to see the um, channel go on and prosper. And great, because if 100 people do that, that's a good chunk of money, 500 people do that. Oh my goodness, amazing. Like, it makes a huge, huge amount of difference knowing that you've got $1,000 coming in at the end of the month and so then you're free to focus on getting patterns done, not thinking, I need to go and do a couple of side jobs just to keep the cash flowing. Um, and there's some big, big amounts to be made on Patreon, for example, um, Fran Menzis, I'll put hers below, she makes like seven or eight grand the last time I saw. Um, then B Mandarin's um, Melanie Hoffman, um, she last time I checked or looked, and again I don't know if it's shown but if it is I'll put it on the screen, she was making around 2000 a month and quite rightly so because she makes amazing patterns and she puts so much content and useful tutorials and help out there. And so I also have a Patreon as well and I just want to say a massive thank you to all of my tribe stars from the $2 all the way up because you have paid for tech editing, you've paid for equipment, you have given me peace of mind and helped me get HDDC where it is. So thank you, thank you, thank you so, so much for being there. I love our Tribe Star chats that we do. I love seeing what you're working on and I love just knowing that you lot have got my back and I can go into Patreon and say, what do you think on this? And you'll always guide me. So thank you so, so much. Anybody, anybody can start a Patreon. You, you could do with having a bit of an audience beforehand because you need to show that you've got something of value to give. My Patreon's definitely gotten bigger now that I've got my patterns because I give my patterns um, as a monthly download as for two of the tiers, it's one of the rewards. So they know they're getting a guaranteed pattern every month. Whereas before that I didn't have as much value and so I just had a very low level tier. Um, so I make about $100 a month on my Patreon and that's great. If I can get that to like 10 times the amount, that basically means that I don't need my day job anymore. 
And you can see then how that makes a huge difference for a person because all of a sudden you've got, and yes, it'll fluctuate, people come and go, but you've suddenly got income coming in and you can focus on your crochet. So you can definitely start a Patreon as well. Even if you're not quite ready to do so now, you can bear this in mind for a later date, just like any of the other um, categories that I've given here. You can bear them in later, bear them in later, bear them in mind for later and sign up to them. Just like I'm gonna do with the affiliate links, you could sign up to Patreon when you get to a certain point in your career as a designer or a side hustle. So Patreon, amazing, go check out mine. Which takes us on to number 10. Well done if you've got this far. And this is sell your own patterns. Now I have finally done this after wanting to do it for years. I taught myself how to grade patterns, which is to take it from one size across all sizes. So I make my patterns in my size and then I make them available from extra small to 5XL. Um, and then I released Revival. I've got a picture of it here for you. Now, there are pros and cons to this, of course. But, and I'm going to start off by saying that it begins as an active income and becomes passive. So, it's passive income because yes, you have to put all of the input in to design, make, get it tested, tech edited and put it out there. But once it's out there, it's active, it's passive income for life. So you can be asleep, and this is a true story, you can be asleep and wake up to notifications that you made $50 whilst you were asleep. True story. I woke up, I would made 50 quid while I was asleep. And it's the best feeling ever knowing my patterns are working for me whilst I'm getting some rest and some shut eye and dreaming up my next designs. So selling patterns for me is one of the biggest ways of making money. Passive income. It's great because you set it up, you put it out there to, to sell and then you keep making money. And not only do you make money from the day that you release it, you make money forever that it's out there and available for download. So just imagine like there's an effect here called compound interest that you really need to pay attention to um, because it's huge, it's a game changer. So you put out one pattern and people get to know you, like I did with Revival, and you hit maybe 10 sales, um, but then you put out another pattern and you get 50 sales, but then people also think, oh, I'll get the first pattern as well. And then you put out the third pattern and you get 100 sales and you think, and then those people think, oh, I'll treat myself to another one. And so then they buy that. And before you know it, you're building up a bank of patterns, which then as more people come along, they've got more products they can buy from you, which means you're getting more money per sale. And then you've got more products to keep selling. So then not only do you wake up one morning, you made 50 pound, you make up and you wake up and you made two grand. And it could happen. And I know it's going to happen for me which is why my next video is going to be a breakdown of exactly how much I made from my sales of my first ever pattern. Because I know that a lot of people out there want the transparency of the cost involved, the time involved, and how much you can make from it. So they know whether it's something they want to pursue. And 110% yes, yes you do, because it's amazing. So that is my 10th one is selling your own patterns yes there are um costs factored in and i'm going to do a whole video on that because this one is already quite long and i've got so much information to share on that and then a bonus way that you could make money is by putting together a um, digital download like the information type so for example i'm putting together a course which will take you from hobbyist to crochet designer it covers all the steps from being somebody who made a pattern to somebody who wants to sell a pattern and the reason i'm doing that is because there's so many people out there like me that have spent hours and hours and hours trying to figure out how to do something and just doesn't know how to and then all the courses out there are mega expensive and 
also like you have to commit to being online at a certain time whereas I'm putting a workbook together that would teach you basics like everything you need to know is there all the foundation stuff in a pretty pretty it looks so good my workbook really really good there's five parts to it and you get the information and then you make this and then you make bank and then you smile and you carry on making more crochet stuff so i'm gonna do follow-up videos on this of um, what grading is on a pattern so if anybody wants to sell their own patterns they've got more information and I'm also going to do a video on um, pattern sales and if you have any particular questions on any of these um, sources of income that I've put on here drop them below if you already use any of them definitely let me know about that down below and um, don't be afraid to put information in there if you've got um, your own patterns for sale or you offer courses put all that information down there so that everyone can see what you're doing and also then they can aspire to do similar not the same similar no copying people and also if you want me to do a particular video on any of the stuff i've covered um, in more depth or you've got questions about how to sell patterns drop them below make sure you fill the comments with good stuff that you click like you click subscribe you hit the bell notification for when my next videos come out because there's so much jam-packed in them that you need to know so drop me all your questions below even if it's just like what's the average cost of xyz how do i go about this Put them all below because I will make videos for every single one and I'll give you shout outs as well. So thank you so much for watching this. I hope it's given you loads of ideas. If you're going to try any of these, again, drop me a comment. I want those comments to be lit. Like I want to know how much income is popping off from crochet. And tribe, happy making, happy momenting, happy memory making and make that money. Bye. Take a fan